right, thanks for watching and welcome to another tasty special because today I will calculate the integral over a princess cake. In particular, let's calculate the triple integral of square root of y squared plus z squared over the region bounded by y squared plus z squared equals 9, x equals 0, and y equals 3x in the first octant. And this is an exercise in Stewart, and in my opinion, it is a very difficult exercise. So if you understand this one, you really understand triple integrals. And what makes this difficult is really drawing this region. So it's more of a geometry problem, if you wish. And so in particular, let's first draw this region. So let's do the hard part first. So first of all, the first octant, it just means everything is positive. So you don't have to worry too much about it. So this is x, y, z. And then y squared plus z squared equals 9. What is this? Well, notice x is missing. And whenever you have a missing variable, it is a cylinder. So what this is, it's just a cylinder uh, in the x direction. Kind of like this. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, well, x equals 0, so technically it's the yz plane. It's not too important. It just tells you the region is what you think it is. But more importantly, y equals 3x, that is very important. And I know it is a plane, but for now, just think of it as a little line. So this is y equals 3x. And now, again, think of integrating as cutting a cake. So assume you have this log or this roulade in German and you want to slice the cake. What you want to do, you first want to slice this in the direction y equals 3x to get this. But you also want to slice it in the direction x equals 0. And what you end up getting is this very beautiful princess cake. All right, and so what does this look like? So again, we have this at this straight part here, kind of like that. But we also have this diagonal part, which goes kind of up to here. No, not quite. And then you cut it like that. And this is our region E that we want to integrate over. And by the way, what does a princess cake look like? It looks like that, like this dome-shaped cake. Or if you're in Vienna, among all the places, there's this thing called the Palmenhaus Torte, which is very delicious. I highly recommend you to get it. It has to do with almond taste, and it looks also like that. Now, of course, this is a Payan picture, but let me show you a beautiful computerized picture. So there we go, kind of big, but we have our cylinder, y squared plus z squared equals 9. We have the line y equals 3x and the line x equals 0. And notice you are cutting this diagonally. And what you end up getting is, again, this princess cake. Okay. And what we want to do now is to analyze this. So let's try to write some inequalities. So step two. inequalities. And sure, you could do it in the z direction like that, but it would actually be easier in this case to do it in the x direction because the cylinder faces the x direction. And so what you want, you still want x between big and small. So you still want x between small and big, but this time in the x direction. So notice the smaller function, it's really the back function. So it's between back and the front function. Now, what is the back function? Well, it's just the plane x equals 0. So x is between 0. And what is the front function? Just like here I crossed out, ideally you would like to say 3x. But it's important that whatever you have here is independent of x. So you have to solve for x in terms of y, which actually gives you y over 3. So that's already our first thing. x is between 0 and y over 3. And then the next order of business is to find the region d, 
which is usually the base of the cake, but this time in the x direction. So what this is, is just a shadow, but behind uh, the region. So find the step three. Find the, oh, it's like finding Dory, literally, because D. And in particular, notice here D is just, again, the part of the cylinder in the, uh, let's see, uh, YZ plane. And in fact, notice it is a quarter circle. So here, a quarter disk. So here D is a quarter disk, but in Y and Z, kind of looks like this. And of course, we have a circle that, you know, calls for uh, polar coordinates. So, and by the way, what is the radius of this circle? Remember, we still have y squared plus z squared equals three, equals nine. So the radius is three. So already we know that r is three. r is from zero to three. And then our angle theta it is from zero to 90 degrees because it's a quarter circle. So theta is from zero to pi over two. All right, and now we have our inequalities because what did we find? R is between zero and three, theta between zero and pi over two, and X between zero and Y over three. The only issue is, well, you have to decide. Do you want to use polar or do you want to use Cartesian? So because polar is much nicer here, we want to use it. So in particular, let's get rid of this y. And very important, I know you're used to saying y equals r sine of theta, but it's very important to look at this picture. Here, y plays the role of x. So here it actually is uh, r cosine theta. So in the end, what we get, 0, x is between 0 and r cosine theta over 3. And now we are ready to integrate. So step 4, integrate, integrate, la 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 Anyway, so that was our interlude. So remember what we want to do. We want to calculate square root of y squared plus z squared dx dy dz. But notice, square root of y squared plus z squared, at least in this picture, that's just the radius. So that's just r. And so, in other words, you just need to integrate r. So that becomes a triple integral, again, of r. All right, and now x is between 0 and r cosine theta over 3. r is between 0 and 3. And lastly, theta is between 0 and pi over 2. So what you want to do, again, dx, dr, d theta, there's just one thing missing, which is what? Well, think like a pirate, because a pirate says r dx dr d theta. So don't forget about this r. So in other words, all we want to do, we want to calculate the integral of r squared. So it's the integral from 0 to pi over 2, 0 to r, 0 to, again, r over 3 cosine theta, r squared, dx, dr, d theta. The nice thing is there is no x here, so it's just this minus this. So integral from 0 to pi over 2, integral from 0 to r, and then I get r squared times r over 3 cosine theta, and dr, d theta. And the nice thing is, as again, it looks like a r, but this is cosine. So you can write this as r cubed over 3 cosine theta. And the beautiful thing is, if you have a function of r and a function of theta, and you have constants here, as usual, open sesame, and you can split the integral up. So this becomes integral from 0 to 3, r cubed over 3, dr, and an integral from 0 to pi over 2, cosine of theta, 
d theta, which then becomes, so let's see, um, so r4 over 4, but we also have this 3, so if r4 over 12, from 0 to 3, this is sine theta, from 0 to pi over 2, and then we get, so 3 to the 4th, so again, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and then 12 is 3 times 4, so this simplifies. And then sine of pi over 2, that is 1, sine of 0, that is 0, so times 1, and I believe in the end you get 27 fourths. And that is the integral over the princess cake. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.